morning guys today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different so I'm going to be showcasing a product which is a steamer so if you hate ironing like me this video is for you have you ever pulled out something from your closet it's wrinkled and you want to wear it to work but you don't have enough time to iron it because you got to take out the ironing board you got to take out the iron you got to heat up the iron and then you got to iron it and then by that time you're probably late for work because you don't have enough time so Recently I got a steamer. If you saw my haul from Valentine's Day, I got a steamer from my mom. I love it. Um, it has been so amazing to use and so easy. It's literally this big. I can take it with me anywhere and it's literally ready within like 5 to 10 seconds. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer. This is not a sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. These opinions are all mine and my own. So I've just got three different shirts, so I'm going to show you on three different types of fabric how the steamer works. So this is the steamer right here. It's called the Bizond. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but you just plug it in. Fill it up with the water, and then it's good to pretty much go. It also comes with this little attachment. It's all in the instructions, and it comes with this little pouch to keep it nice, neat, and tidy. It also comes with the Velcro organizer type thing, so it keeps your cord from being all tangled and nasty. All right, so I've just plugged it in. It's got a little switch on it. And one side says stop and the other side says steam. So obviously we're going to flip it to the steam side. And it's already started steaming and everything. I'm actually going to put the fan on in here just so it doesn't set off the fire alarm because ours is super sensitive for some reason. So as you can see the water and it's already started to get really hot. So I'm just going to take my wrinkled shirt and put it fairly close to the material and just go up and down like this on it. And then it's done. So that was only about a fourth of the water, just for a little bit of comparison. And you can see that this side is pretty wrinkle free and this side is still wrinkled. wet at all I could put this on and it is completely dry now if you have like a really stubborn wrinkle and you keep going over it it might get a little bit damp but nothing that's not gonna dry within maybe a minute to 30 seconds so this shirt is more of a cotton shirt and it's really not that wrinkled it's just wrinkled near the bottom so this is a normal flannel shirt and the sleeves are super wrinkled so I'm going to put on my steamer, give it a little bit, and it's already puffing out hot air. So I'm just going to lightly go over the sleeve. I'm not using any pressure. I feel like I'm on an infomercial. It does get really hot though, so you don't want to put your hands behind it. Alright, and as you can tell, the sleeve is so much nicer my pros are i love this product it's really easy to use fast simple and small my only con to this product is the cord is pretty short so if you're doing normal clothes and stuff it's not a big deal but if you're doing a huge backdrop like i was doing you're gonna have to plug it in a couple times to be able to reach that but then again it is a huge background so that's asking a lot especially from a product that is super small so the bigger your steamer, probably the longer the cord. But honestly, that can be fixed with a simple extension cord. I'd say that refilling this thing isn't that big of a deal, to be honest. It's, it's small, yes, but it does get through. I want to say I filled it up maybe twice when I did my huge background. And I used maybe a fourth of it per side of the shirt, depending on how wrinkled it is, obviously. So you're not going to go through a lot of water if you're worried about that. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and content from me. And go follow my website, maddieautofaith.com. Alright guys, 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!